How'd that feel? Felt pretty good, actually. It looked really good, too. So, Brad, you were the director of the Arnold Palmer Golf Academies for just a little over a decade. You must have acquired a huge amount of knowledge and, of course, experience on that journey. And now here I am having the privilege of your time. We've got the irons, so I'd love to chat a bit about Arnold Palmer's approach to iron play. But tell me a little bit more about the academy and what you learned about golf and Arnold Palmer's approach to golf in that time. His famous quote that I love is, golf is deceptively simple, endlessly complicated. It frustrates the intellect. It satisfies the soul. It's the greatest game that mankind ever created. And I love that because we can all re relate to that, right? I mean, we sometimes it just feels so easy, and then the next day it's like, oh, my God, I'm just lost in the abyss of complications. <laughs> so he always helped us bring the knowledge back to being as simple as possible. And the difference that he and other um, players of that age, like Ben Hogan, even Jack Nicklaus when he first started, they played the golf ball off of the inside of their front heel okay. with, for everything, through the bag. You know, nowadays we tend to move it around a little bit, but back then the, the, the going start was everything was off the, the front heel. Hmm. And what they would do to change where their center of gravity was is they would either, for a driver, they would widen their stance and drop their foot a little bit back and off the line. Mm -hmm. And that basically put their center of gravity way back like this, way behind the ball. Or if they're hitting a wedge shot, they would bring the, f the f back foot forward and bring them closer together. So as a byproduct, now the center of gravity is hanging on the front of the ball. Really so allowed them to be able to hit down, make contact, and then the divot would be where the center of gravity was. And changes the path slightly. Changes the path slightly. So you're going to be a little bit more upright and down on top of it with the wedge shots mm. instead of getting a little bit too underneath it trapped behind. Really interesting. And so that was their approach to being able to set the golf ball. Everything was off the front. The other cool thing I, I find with that, and sometimes I, I see people struggling to keep angles, they tend to throw the club head early at the ball. Yeah. Well, the further you put it back in your stance, the more tendency you have to do that. Ah. If you put the ball more forward, it's going to encourage you to maintain the angle and rotate into it a little bit more. Yeah. And that will help people have a better contact with the golf ball. As interesting. A so I'd like to try it though a little bit further forward and see how that feels, Let's given do that, that we're swinging yeah, I've got a couple uh, alignment rods that might help us okay. with uh, getting that. So uh, once you choose the target that you so desire. All right, I'll keep it. Um, all right, I'll go between these two flags here. There's a all nice right. little Good line stuff. on the building there. And so all I'm going to do now is just place this rod right here where you want your uh, left foot to be on this side of the of the line. Mm -hmm. And did Mr. Palmer use alignment rods much when he was practicing, or is that more a modern day thing? It's a lot more a modern day thing. On occasion, you'd see him put a golf club on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, most of the time, he would just kind of do it by his visuals. Yeah, mm -hmm. keeping it simple. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm keeping that ball, got my, wedge, my pitching wedge in my hand. Uh -huh. So normally I'd put that bang smack in the middle, but I'm gonna put it just forward. Yes. As you recommend there, And Brian. then uh, to go along with that, he would have drawn this foot a little bit closer up, up here towards and a little bit closer together. Okay. So that you really feel like Ooh. you're narrowed out. Yeah. Exactly. I'm gonna exit this club nicely left. You got it, exactly right. It's gonna help you exit left. Okay, that's good for me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that feel? Felt pretty good, actually. It looked really good, too. And Crispy. you're right. It gives you the room to be able to clear left. You don't have as much time with, with a wedge shot as you would like a driver to be able you know, to exit left. Yeah. So this presets you in that position. That's great. Can I hit another one of those? Yeah, felt, absolutely. You can see the divot pattern going left as well. Yeah, which... absolutely. And it was nice and shallow, too. Just such a small change, but I have to work so hard to get my divots pointing left. And mm. you've done it in an absolute heartbeat. So. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. They're on top of one another. Yeah, that's lovely. Really, really <laughs> good there, Brad. And then what about if we move into a slightly longer iron? I've got my seven iron over here, which I'll grab. Yeah. A mid, mid to long iron. What changes, if anything? The only thing that would change is you'd probably score up his feet a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And the width of the stance would get a little bit wider. Mm. So, um, Give yourself maybe a couple more inches of, of width of stance. The ball's staying right inside that left heel. Yes. There you go. So that's more of the, the neutral position right there. Okay, so more feet more 
parallel to the target line. Correct. Not inside, not outside. Correct. Okay. Exactly. Like it. All right. Same feels. There we oh, go. Oh, that was solid. Beautiful. Really good ball flight that time. You do see many of the greats, they have that slightly open foot with the left and it just allows you to get your weight into the left hand side because ultimately you have to finish on your left hand side. Absolutely. It doesn't really matter how you get there, you got to get there. You got to get there <laughs> and you're right. So if you give yourself a little bit of opening right there, it'll certainly help you clear and, and, and get over to that uh, forward side the way that you desire. It seems clear to me, Brad, that Mr. Palmer, there were some non-negotiables. It started with the connection with the club and the grip, led into the posture, and then ball position and alignment with the feet. Absolutely. And those are basic fundamentals that anyone playing the game, the more you practice it, the better you're going to become. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of consistency in the game, but this is an area where you want to be consistent every time. Sounds great, Brad. Brilliant tips. Thanks a lot. My pleasure.